The following segment is sponsored by Oklahoma Cyberknife. The diagnosis of a brain tumor is frightening, but thanks to expert doctors and the latest technology, the journey can end well. Recently, Aaron visited with a neurosurgeon and a radiation oncologist about different types of brain tumors and treatments. Dr. Thumbaswamy, we are so glad to have you here. You're one of the only neurosurgeons who specializes in oncology. Tell us what brain tumors are and kind of symptoms people should look out for. Absolutely, well, thank you for having us. Um, brain tumors are tumors that are abnormal to be in the brain tissue. They can come from the brain tissue itself, which is a primary type of cancer, or it can be a metastasis from other types of cancers, other places in the body which have spread to the brain. Usually when we're talking about treatment and surgical options and treatments we're going to talk about today, usually that's more of the malignant kind. So, Is there anything that people should maybe look out for when to see a doctor? Absolutely. There, there's a lot of vague symptoms and there's more severe system, symptoms. Uh, headaches are probably the most common, but visual changes, hearing loss, uh, balance difficulties, seizures especially, uh, there's a, the list goes on and on. But anything that is concerning enough for you to take notice of may be worthwhile to at least call your doctor. And you all kind of have a collaboration of sorts. Dr. Right. Heaton, tell me how CyberKnife comes into play. CyberKnife is a very important tool in brain tumors. We can treat both benign brain tumors, ones that uh, don't grow as rapidly, and more um, malignant or more serious brain tumors. Um, radio surgery allows us to get into areas where a surgeon really can't you know, do a surgical procedure, such as a motor strip or some vital areas. And it, the two of us work together. He will often take out the large majority, and then my job is often more of the cleanup job. And your version or your treatment is called Visual Aids, and explain what that is. That is a new technology that we have where it will help us in patients where sometimes surgical, like the standard surgical resection may not be the best option. Sometimes patients, if they have a recurrence of their tumor or their cancer, sometimes patients that wound healing or overall health may be a big problem for us surgically. The visual ace allows us to make a very small incision, place a very small catheter within the area of the tumor, and under real-time MRI, heat up this laser that burns the tumor. It's helped dramatically with hospital stay, patients tolerate it very well, just one stitch at the incision site, and I've had patients go home the very next day after a brain tumor treatment. Amazing that it's so non-invasive, that you know, not, not spending weeks in the hospital, and these are technologies that have not been around for very long. Absolutely, yeah. We've so, got a lot of great new treatments on the horizon, so. All right, so anything else that people need to know? Brain tumors are definitely treatable and definitely curable. And please see us and you know make a decision, an informed decision before you make a treatment decision. All right, thank you yes. so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, you see the logo there, Oklahoma Cyberknife. They're located at 6802 South Olympia Avenue, Suite G100. You can dial 918-949-6676 for more. Visit OklahomaCyberKnife.com. And the Oklahoma Spine and Brain Institute, they're located at the same address, but Suite 300. Their number, 918-749-0762. You can also visit OKSBI.com.